Dry skin therapy, with lanolin, lotion is used as a moisturizer to treat or prevent dry, rough, scaly, itchy skin, and minor skin irritations such as diaper rash and skin burns from radiation therapy. Emollients are substances that soften and moisturize the skin, decreasing itching and flaking. Some products are used to protect the skin against irritation, such as from wetness. Dry skin is caused by a loss of water in the upper layer of the skin. Emollients slash moisturizers work by forming an oily layer on the top of the skin that traps water in the skin. Common emollients include petrolatum, lanolin, mineral oil, and dimethicon. Humectants, including glycerin, lecithin, and propylene glycol, draw water into the outer layer of the skin. Many products also have ingredients that soften the top layer of skin cells and help the dead skin cells fall off, leaving the skin feeling smoother and softer. When using this lotion, be sure to follow the directions on the product package. Some products may need to be shaken before use, so check the label to see if this applies. Apply the lotion to the affected areas of the skin as needed or as directed by your doctor. The frequency of application will depend on the product and your skin condition. If you're using the lotion for dry hands, you may need to apply it every time you wash your hands throughout the day. If using this lotion for diaper rash, make sure to clean the diaper area well before applying the product. And if using it for radiation skin burns, check with radiation personnel to see if it can be applied before therapy. Be sure to only apply the lotion to the skin, avoiding sensitive areas such as the eyes, mouth, nose, and vaginal slash groin area, unless directed otherwise. Also, check the label for any specific areas or types of skin where you should not apply the product, and consult your doctor or pharmacist for more details. For best results, use the lotion regularly and apply it after bathing or showering while the skin is still damp. If your skin is very dry, your doctor may recommend soaking the area before using the lotion. It's important to note that long, hot, or frequent bathing or washing can worsen dry skin. If your condition persists or worsens, or if you suspect a serious medical issue, seek medical help immediately. When using dry skin therapy, with lanolin, lotion, you may experience some mild side effects such as burning, stinging, redness, or irritation. If these effects persist or worsen, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist. If your doctor has prescribed this medication, they have determined that the benefits outweigh the potential side effects. Most people using this lotion do not experience serious side effects. However, it's important to seek medical attention if you notice any unusual changes in your skin or signs of skin infection. Although rare, a serious allergic reaction to this lotion may occur. Seek immediate medical help if you experience symptoms such as rash, itching, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects. If you notice any other effects not mentioned, it's important to consult your doctor or pharmacist. In the US, you can report any side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov slash medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using dry skin therapy, with lanolin, lotion, make sure to consult with your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies to its ingredients or if you have any skin cuts, infections, or sores. Some ingredients in the lotion may make you more sensitive to the sun, so it's important to check the label for any warnings and take special precautions when outdoors. If you have acne-prone skin, look for the word non-comedogenic on the label to make sure it won't clog your pores. Also, be sure to inform your doctor or dentist about all the products you use before having surgery. If you are pregnant or breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using this product, especially if you are applying it to the breast area. Now, let's talk about the possible drug interactions of dry skin therapy, with lanolin, lotion. It's important to note that this lotion may interact with other medications, potentially affecting how your medications work or increasing your risk for serious side effects. It's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription-slash-non-prescription drugs and herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. It's important not to start, stop, or change the dosage of any medicines without your doctor's approval. Always consult with your healthcare provider before using any new products, especially if you are taking other medications. 
This will help ensure your safety and the effectiveness of your treatment. If this lotion is swallowed, it can be harmful. If someone has taken too much and is experiencing severe symptoms like passing out or difficulty breathing, it's essential to call for emergency medical assistance. Otherwise, it's important to contact a poison control center immediately. In the U.S., residents can call their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, and in Canada, residents can call a provincial poison control center. To prevent dry skin, it's important to use lukewarm water when bathing, not hot, and try to bathe less often, like every one to two days, and keep showers short. Using a humidifier can also help when the air is very dry. There are various types of emollient products available, including those with fragrance or other ingredients that some people may be sensitive to. Emollients come in different forms such as oils, creams, lotions, or sprays. It's best to consult with your doctor or pharmacist to find the product that may be best for you. If you forget to use this lotion on your regular schedule, just use it as soon as you remember. But don't apply extra or use it more frequently to make up for the missed dose. Make sure to check the storage information on the package and if you have any questions, ask your pharmacist. Keep all medications out of reach of children and pets. Avoid storing the foam canister near high heat or open flame, as it is under pressure. Do not puncture or burn the canister. Do not dispose of medications in the toilet or drain unless instructed. Properly discard the product and it is expired or no longer needed. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.